Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 commentary with EXO and I'm lagging right now so hold Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 commentary with EXO and boy do I have a good game to show you today and I can't believe I'm actually casting this uh, I'm really excited about casting this match I don't think I've ever cast a match like this one it's so important so to speak um, it's going to be a replay from BlizzCon it's, going to, it's one of those exhibition matches it's going to be Fruit Dealer versus Slayer's Boxer, that's right, so the number one, currently number one, ranked uh, StarCraft 2 player against a uh, legend of StarCraft 1 of StarCraft Brood War. So this is going to be a hell of a game, there's two games actually, uh, or three, I'm not exactly sure it's the best of three, I don't know how many replays there are. Um, so I remind you this has been cast at uh, BlizzCon, Day9 was there with Artosis and Tasteless and they were casting this but I didn't... Uh, I didn't really uh, get to see it, so I'm gonna do it myself, and uh, hope I will rise up to your expectations. And Fruit Dealer is sending out his Overlord already, scouting this side over here. He doesn't wanna... <clears throat> I don't think he wants uh, Boxer to get a glimpse at his Overlord. This is why you do this on the ledge. You can get to see and then pull back the Overlord. And uh, second Overlord already on the way towards uh, Boxer's base. Boxer is getting a barracks, a pretty fast barracks. Um, I, w I guess he's gonna be walling off. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see what Fruit Dealer decides to do if he's gonna go for a more economic game. Yep, there we go. Fast hatchery going down. So hatchery before pool. Uh, gonna have this fast expand. And do 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 remember that this is Lost Temple and Boxer plays Terran. And with this ledge over here, the ledge overlooking the natural expansion of Fruit Dealer. Um, this might cause a lot of trouble for Fruit Dealer. Um, in most of the replays, I actually cast Zerg vs. Terran, or really Terran vs. anything on Lost Temple. The Terran took advantage of the ledges over here to harass the natural. Um, I guess it's one of those things that if you don't do a Terran on Lost Temple, you're basically missing out on uh, uh, on, on on the game. You know, it's, it's free uh, free damage, free kills, and so forth. Because if you really know how to micro your forces, it's uh, puts a lot of pressure on your enemy. Anyway, there we go, a bunker is going down at the natural, and let's see, yep, two drones are coming off the line, and and another one, the scout is coming back as well, so that's gonna be three drones, I think it's gonna be enough to kill that SCV, let's see, but the SCV does pull back, a new one is coming to replace it, and let's see if Boxer, oh, Boxer is replaying, <laughs> repairing the SCVs, uh, this is good, <laughs> I like this, and there we go, oh, and this is the, the bunker almost went down there, let's see if the bunker is gonna be finished, that SCV is almost dead, it's going back and he's switching with the other SCV. <laughs> Here we grow micro battle over this bunker. Oh, and this is really, really enjoyable. <laughs> I've never really seen. Yep, there we go, and the SCVs go inside for, yep, the safety, into the safety of the bunker. Reaper is on the way, and let's see if this Reaper can actually do something, but that's a lot of Zerglings, and that Reaper just coming out to, <laughs> and the SCVs are trying to, wow, <laughs> I don't know. This, I'm not gonna follow this uh, detail by detail, I'm just gonna let you guys see this. This is really cool. Um, a bunker did go down, so did the Reaper, and the Boxer might be in a little bit of trouble here. The wall off is not complete, and no Marines are out yet. But there we go, another Reaper is out, and uh, in the midst of all this, I even forgot to put the production panel up. And uh, the Reaper is making its way into Fruit Dealer's base. And let's see, two Queens already out, and a Roach Worm going down. A Roach Worm going down for Fruit Dealer, and uh, Reaper is going to take a peek right now. Let's see if it sees the Roach Worm. It's going inside the base. Um, there we go, Queen getting another shot off. Yep, there we go, he sees the Roach Worm. And let's see what his response is going to be. And surprisingly, Boxer is going for a pretty fast expand as well. So no real unit producing structures before this command center. Now we see two more barracks going up. And, uh... Wow, both players are really macroing right now. Uh, we saw a little bit of harass there. It failed on, on Boxer's behalf. And, uh... Now both players feel uh, secure with the Mac ring. Although these Reapers are still trying to put some pressure on. Let's see if they get any drone kills. I don't think so. Uh, look at this, how how careful Fruit Dealer is being with uh, with his drones. And he's moving these Queens all the time. And he's doing the damage he needs to do to ward these Reapers off. Uh, the two barracks are almost done. There we go. Stimpax is on the way. And we have another reactor going down. And whoa, another reactor. This is this is really interesting. Two barracks. 
two new barracks that completed have two reactors. Um, so that's a lot of marines that are going to be coming out of there. And two roaches trying to make a push over here, trying to surprise Boxer. But this bunker is going to be down real soon. It needs to be careful, not lose any units until the bunker is done. And there we go. Marines make their way inside. But Fruit Dealer is, is going past the bunker. He cares about getting some SCV kills. Um, Boxer is moving the SCVs back and these roaches are gonna maybe try making their way up the ramp, I'm not exactly sure. Um, <clears throat> let's see what is happening here. So, they're on the way for Fruit Dealer right now and uh, I'm curious to see if Fruit Dealer is, it seems like Fruit Dealer is going for, um, for quite a lot of roaches here because of... Uh, yeah, roaches are much better now because of the most recent patch. They just uh, th that range increase. I do play Zerg myself, so um, that range increase you really get to feel it. It's much more comfortable to play with roaches. And a Marauder in there, and those roaches are probably going to go back, <clears throat> not being able to do anything right now. And let's see if Boxer is going to try anything with that ledge over here. I don't see a a factory is on the way right now. Where is that factory? Here it is. So a factory is on the way. Which, would prob which will probably mean uh, tanks. I don't think he's gonna go for helians this late in the game. We also have concussive shells on the way, so these marauders are gonna have their slow ability against these roaches, which is quite good. Let's see if these roaches do get caught off guard here, next to the Zelnaga tower in the middle. If Boxer is gonna notice this, no. But Fruit Dealer is seeing this because of his roaches. He sees, he sees the incoming attack from Boxer, and Boxer does stim up. Oh, and the Queen does get taken out. That's pretty big right there. And so does the Sunken Crawler at the middle. Maybe he wants to just snipe this. A bunch of roaches in here and a lot of drones. Wow, stimming again. Ouch, 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 ouch. I don't think he should have stimmed right there. I'm not exactly sure if he needed that. But um, taking out ooh, a lot of Zerglings. And I think these Zerglings are going to be able to clean this up with the help of those drones. Most of the units are damaged. He lost a lot of units. But he did stop mining at the Nacho for quite a while. And... Um, Fruit Dealer did lose his Queen, plus that Sunken Crawler, and a few drones as well, so I think this was worth it. Um, let's see if tanks are going to be coming out, and the Engineering Bay is down. No add-on yet for the factory, and an Armory. So that means either Thors, or he's just going to get tanks and upgrade them, although I think we're going to see Thors. And here we go, this is interesting, Fruit Dealer, middle, in the midst of that battle, he's getting this hidden expansion. I don't think Boxer knows about this, he's going to check make sure that boxer doesn't know indeed he does not so this expansion is gonna mean a lot of trouble for boxer if he doesn't take it out if he doesn't scout it and fruit dealer is on three bases while boxer think he's thinks he's only on two not only that he will not only will he have extra unit production but he's going to be mining a lot more and i don't think boxer is going to be able to handle a zerg like fruit dealer which is one base ahead we all know fruit dealer is an extraordinary player he wants just a one so Anyway, let's see what Boxer does decide to do. And for those of you who are watching these replays, uh, right now, me casting them, do not check any results or something. Don't get curious and see who won or who didn't, because this is a great game, and I want you guys to really enjoy it for what it is, because it's one of the most, you know, it's one of those show matches that you don't really get to see between two very, very good players. So, um, coming back to the game, I'm going to have my PC is lagging a little bit, and I'm not exactly sure why. There we go. And we're back. So yeah, I had to do some stuff with the uh, with the replay there. Um, and we have a, a push going on here. Though I don't think this is this isn't enough. So Box Boxer is backing off. But coming back to the game, a Thor is on its way. So there we go. We have that Thor. And two more barracks over here. Actually, what happened here? He's getting. Did he? Does he actually want to get Helians or what? This factory moved on here. And this one has a tech lab. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what the point of this factory is. It's, uh, yeah, whatever. And we have, we have, we have two barracks without add-ons indeed. So let's see if tech, lab, tech labs are going to be going down there. Um, and here we go. Fruit Dealer is going for a push, although this bunker is filled up and the Thor is in a good position. He's backing off. He doesn't want to really fight there. And we have Banelings with centrifugal hooks. Centrifugal hooks is, are on the way, or is on the way actually. And Burrow as well. Wow. And uh, movement speed for overlords and aspire and uh, ground armor for units. So uh, Infernal Preigniter also on the way. There we go. So I guess he's he does want to get a few humans. Up. Oh, yep. Uh, and those uh, those helians are quite good actually, not just for harass if you get a uh, pre-igniter, but against banelings, two helians, we just will one-shot a baneling. Uh, so, 
you don't have to be afraid of your infantry ball just being obliterated. No medivac so far though, not one... There we go, the starport is complete and uh, first medivac is out. And here we go, a Thor ship on the way. Let's see if this Thor is going to be able to do an preemptive scan going down here to see if anything is going down at the natural. And this Thor is on the way and it might be doing a lot of damage. Let's see if the Queen at least goes down, I'm not exactly sure. Here we go. And boom, boom, no, didn't go down yet. There's a sunken crawler over there, which might get transfu transfused. Transfused. Um, and uh, nice, this overlord is putting down creep, so uh, the, a boxer cannot build a turret or a bunker there. But he needs to bring maybe some SCV. There we go, he has three SCVs and some marines in this uh, dropship on the